today we are making uh, the stuffing box for here. It's going to be, uh, the shaft's going to go through it and it's going to go in this recess and we're going to put packing in it and then we're going to bolt it down and that's going to seal around the shaft. Okay, so this is the first part I'm making in my new shop area. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, so we're going to Okay, we're gonna let's take a measurement here. Yeah, it's two and five eighths. That's what I thought. So we need to turn this OD down to two inches. Here's the drawing. I didn't print it out, so it's on my phone. You gotta turn. See, it's gonna look like that as a profile view. We gotta turn this down to two inches first. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Let's face it off. Ooh, that's way too low. There we go. Sixty-six over. Let me just do a sanity check here. Yeah. Okay. We're Sixty-six over. So I'm just gonna dial that in. It's not super critical. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Well, let's do. Let's do fifty. <laughs> Seventeen over. So ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's see how close that gets us. This should be the final pass. We are two over, but again, that is not a critical measurement at all. So we're just going to leave it like that. Next we need to uh, machine the step out. So we're going to touch off. zero the indicator and we're gonna go over a quarter of an inch there we go let's make a little mark not a very big step at all but I'm gonna zero the indicator now
Alright, let's get out the mic. Okay, we are 36 thou over. This is not super critical, but thank you. Right on the money. But actually, right on the money is not what I want. Uh, I want it to be a little smaller than one inch. So, hmm. I'm going to do a spring pad. Just a little bit of fuzz coming off. Perfect, that's like one thou under. I think that's gonna work. If not, I can polish it down. So let me just clean up this back face. All right, so now we're gonna drill a hole through the center. We're going to center drill this. Okay, I'm just going to bore this out. So let's see how this works. I had to readjust the height. Okay, we're at 744. So I'm going to dial in, uh, well, I want about, about a thou or so over. So we're going to dial in, 6 will get us to 750. And then we're going to do 7.5. So. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a measurement. Wow. We're six over. I don't know how the heck that happened. Must have been some flexing. But this is not critical because um, what's doing the ceiling is everything below this. I just want this to fit fairly snug. So actually, uh, we're going to take what we have. We're going to see how it all fits. See, it's supposed to go in there. It's good. Oh, that fits really nice. Okay. So that's just about done. Now we need to index the holes. Okay, I'm doing my little trick with the uh, center punch. So we got to go over 436. should fit inside of the crosshead and it doesn't um, it's really tight so I got I made this hole one and a half thou over or under and this one 
about one and a half to two thou over. So I just have to take off a few thou so it fits in better. <laughs> part off a little bit more and then turn around turn around and face it let's touch off right there and then we're gonna go over an eighth of an inch that's the thickness of the tool okay I'm gonna zero it out now this part let me check the drawing this part is three eighths Thick. So let's see here. Here we go. One eighth, two eighth, three eighths. Let's go a half an inch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> three eighths counts this guy here which is a quarter inch so we gotta go back a quarter inch this is a little fast and like it's probably gonna get chattered as much as I can go let me switch all right try speeding I tried speeding it up let's see if this is too much stick out <laughs> indicated in so let's see it's supposed to be an eighth of an inch so where are we at now mm. uh, 1.76 yep so that's about 50,000 like so it would be So my buddy Brent, who I now share the shop space with, has this expanding mandrel, which is really handy actually, and I need it right now. So this one goes from five eighths to one inch. It says so. All you got to do 
is tighten this up. And the reason why I'm doing this is I need to just, oops, I need to just take a little teeny bit off the edge. It's still too tight of a fit with the uh, cross head. Damn, sorry guys. So let's uh, put something flat here. We're just gonna do that. So now it's flat. Oh wow, that's nice. So now I just need to indicate the shaft in. Let me do that off camera. Okay, so I indicated the mandrel in, <clears throat> and then I indicated on this face, and it's running pretty true. I need to take light cuts. goes in like this, and this goes over top of it. Oh, we gotta drill those holes. So I forgot, I actually have these transfer screws. And that's gonna be way better to transfer these holes. So I'm just gonna do that. And uh, we get like a socket. Okay, cool. Okay, I drilled the holes off camera. So, the way it works is you would put packing, uh, some sort of sealant packing or uh, material, and you would put this on, and then you would line up the bolt holes and tighten it down, and it wouldn't go all the way flush, but um, See how well these line up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Wouldn't go all the way flush, but because you know the packing would squish down, and that's the point. You want it to squish so it seals around the shaft. Uh, then, when the cross head is on, it should go right over it, just like that. So. That's pretty much it. That's the stuffing box. Now, I am a little worried about fasteners. Um, that might bite me in the ass, actually. Fasteners, right? Because they're gonna, they're going to protrude, but maybe not. Okay, so uh, I got four bolts here. I had to make the holes just a little bit bigger, but we can see that I lucked out and uh, everything works perfectly. There's no packing in there yet, so this might be a little down, down a little bit more. But uh, regardless, this part clears the bolts just barely, which is what it's supposed to do. Actually, there's a decent amount of room in there. Uh, so. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.